You can see lots of great runners at the Liberty Benton Invitational at 11 on WOSN as Andy brings us the final races, including the return of future Akron Zip Chase Cook, who's coming back from injury. Two other highlights today are Arcadia's Shea Watkins breaking the school record in winning the discus and Arlington's Willow Thompson breaking the meet and school record in the pole vault. The defending state champ cleared 12 feet today. By now you know it was a windy day out there in Hancock County today. We're going to start things off with the boys 300 hurdles. Lip 6 Terrell Muriel wins with a 41.85 ticks edging LB's Bobby Snook and Arcadia's Clint Recker. For the girls 200, Columbus Groves, Julia Wynn, a winner here in 26.33 holding off carries Amber Spurlock and Van Buren's Bree Lasley. Girls 3200, state qualifier Arden McMath wins in 12 minutes 14 seconds. She also won the mile to win the most outstanding female at the meet. Eagles Megan Bartell at second, PG's Olivia Velasquez third. Great finish in the boys two mile. Bulldogs teammates Groves Lee Altenberger and Colton Grothaus in 1032, LB's Ty Gleason the bronze. Girls 4x4 four four goes to Van Buren as Lasley anchors a win in 424.99. Groves second and there's PG in third. And what a finish to the boys 4x4. Four four. Eagles Snook holds off Grove Bryce Sharitz for a time of 334.63. That win by the Eagles puts them in a tie for the team title with Grove. As for the girls results, LB wins their ninth straight title. And on the boys side, Grove and LB leapfrog Astillo to share the crown. 11 in a row for the Eagles. Wow, just